Yeah. My life is like a prize winning novel. Peep the story as I explicate. Uh -huh. Plenty papers like pages I generate. Degenerate writers, they try their best to go and plagiarize to replicate. But they spark notes containing they false quotes. Dirty game, but I'd rather the lather like bar soaps. You gotta watch who you sleeping on and who you call broke. I done seen plenty hearts broke from lost hope. Prior to the fall, it was champagne and cigar smoke. Until things curve like parabolas on a long stroke. People most likely to hang themselves. All you gotta give them is. Song raps. I'm doing me, my nigga, part of me. Lately, I've been looking at bands, just trying to advance classes like physics and trigonometry. The people ask for real, they steady giving mythology. I prefer not to, like I'm Bartleby. My mind is my weapon, and so as long as I'm alive, it's no disarming me. I know they dig it like paleontology. I'm hot now, they gas me like a fossil fuel. Checking for my info and interviews and articles. Used to have a buzz that was smaller than dust particles. Buffalo in his frigid, but I always kept it tropical on record. Look, I got the lead now, it's far from marginal uh -huh. I just learned my lessons, then I apply them like they topical uh -huh. My lines run worldwide like latitude and longitude On playlists is when they visit my bars like a conjugal Fuck your jurisdiction, I'm the sheriff, you the constable Phonetic flow phenomenal, cause being at my best was never optional That's word the wheeze, rest in peace my bro, I know you flying high Bass, new jigganaz, and plenty more I idolize uh -huh. Flowing like a ship, that's poetic, old iron size If this was Madden, then I'm Jai Salen, throwing spiral dimes I'm still living righteous in these trying times That's why it in the confines of my mind, yeah My mama told me if I seek, then I'll find My mama told me if I seek, then I'll find That's why I read between the lines You can peep it, that's the genius when I'm speaking my mind I'm translating what I see with my eyes, I'm saying My mama told me if I seek, then I'll find My mama told me if I seek, then I'll find That's why I read between the lines You can peep it, that's the genius when I'm speaking my mind I'm translating what I see with my eyes, I'm saying, yeah Prince, that's that J Skis right there. J Skis. Oh, I like that. Whole album crazy for real. Got it. That's that for Ocelot. Yes. You know, Skis the reason I rap. I've, I've said this to you before. What? It's the, first, it's the first person when I was in Buffalo. They was like, yo, you in Buffalo, you from Brooklyn, you rap, right? Spit something. Skis used to have me at his crib like every day when we was like 11, 12. He already had like a little studio set up in his shit and we just go there and like record. They take me around all over Buffalo like spitting and being in battles and shit. Skis been nasty, man. That's drum work shit right there, right? He on drum work. Yep. He was on my, listen, listen, go look at that Midnight or Boris album. That's before the drum work signing. This album. It's on this Track nine. Oh yeah. I remember this. And then you know Billy Esco's on that cut too. Yo. Deuce. You be with some people. Everybody, that's Deuce Ellis. That's DJ Beans. That's Big French, the pragmatic. Your favorite yeah. engineer. I am Mike Powers Global. Welcome to the show. Thank you for clicking the video. Uh Beans, is somebody sending you videos of them pleasuring themselves? That what that was going on? What's what's I seen it on Twitter? What happened? My God. So this was, I want to say a couple of years back. This when I this is why I don't check my DMs on Instagram. So there was a dude that was he he sent me a picture of his dick blatantly. I was like, yo, don't ever disrespect me like that again. I was like, I normally don't even say nothing. I just block. I was like, but holy shit, the nerve. So he apologized, sent me a dick pic a week later, blocked him. He keeps on like following me from random accounts and sending me pictures of his dick. I keep on blocking him. So recently I posted something and he, and this dude responded to me and I saw his avatar and his face gave me instant flashbacks. And I was like, yo, are you the dude that keeps on sending me pictures of, of, of you beating your meat? Like videos too. How many times do I have to block you, bro? Like what the fuck? How long did you watch the video before you stopped it? No, honestly, the second I opened it and saw it, I don't like that kind of shit. Like I don't, for me, when I watch porn, I'm not I'm not looking for dick. Look, I, I don't want to look the third eye in the eye unless it's about to be in me around my mouth. Either. I'm just saying. So it's it I don't know any women to be honest with you that just welcome dick pics like that. And for me, I'm like, has this worked for bro because the fact that he keeps on finding me and signing up for different emails and shit that's disturbing. I mean, like I So yo, stop harassing DJ Beans. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we know people. 
IP addresses, public information. Somebody might come knock on your shit. Let's not do that. (laughs) Not even playing. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. So I was I was shocked when I saw that, and then you exposed this dude right in public, right on Twitter. You was like, "Yo, enough!" Like, if if I didn't want to spare my followers, I was gonna put it up and put like a thing over it and be like, "This you," because seriously. But I don't want to. He's he's good. He's he's good. And so clearly, you know, anybody here ever got a a a random unsolicited coochie shot? Anybody? A blue oh, waffle. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course, Deuce Ellis has got unsolicited. Right. Look, shots. so I, I post every year for my birthday. Ooh. I'm like, it's my birthday, show me titties. And from time to time, I get a coochie shot. Um, But like the Hail Mary and dick pics into people's DMs is just fucking unacceptable. I think, I mean, <laughs> I, I'd welcome a coochie pic before a dick pic. Said, I don't really know what to do with a coochie pic, though. It's like, and, and I mean, I'm saying, like, it's just, for me, what what is the point? The most surprising thing about any coochie pic that you Especially might get like is if it's <laughs> meat curtains. <laughs> Ain't nothing like for six two. He you said this, he's man. he said that shit so disrespectfully. Meat curtains. Like hey. <laughs> roast beef, the bubble roast gum beef, shits. Like meat flaps. Beef flaps. flaps. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Because a lot of people, when they go, but a lot of people uh, search history and they porn will have l- the words large labia in the search. Long, um, flappy pussy lips. <laughs> <laughs> we have the meats. By the way, any one, any, any one of these terms on Pornhub will get you what you're looking for. Meat flaps. You know what I, mean? I don't want to see meat flaps. I don't want to see floppy fucking pussy lips. <laughs> so, uh, Gangsta Gibbs wants to fight academics? Yo. Okay. Yeah, academics have a girl pull a gun on him on Instagram Live or some shit like that. <laughs> that dude, listen, I don't know about the gun part. You know about the gun things? She pulled, she pulled a gun on him like um before because they were doing a show or something. And his ass stood up and tried to get all fucking gangster when his that. ass didn't get didn't say nothing when he got called a bitch, but it'll come at a female like that. I was trying to dismiss you because your broke ass bitch wouldn't get a babysitter who's talking about you gotta go home to your kid. Go home to your little go home to your little nigga and go handle your business, nigga. Go handle go handle your business, nigga. Go handle your business. Go handle your business, bitch. Go So I didn't see it, but from what I heard. Before they were, when they were leaving the building, that's when she pulled a gun on him. Mm. I saw the, I saw, the, I saw the footage oh, where that. he stood up. I thought he was a bit aggressive towards a woman. Very I, felt, I, I, I felt like he was doing it for the cameras. I feel like he do everything for the camera. And little man syndrome. Yeah, it's like to be that aggressive to a woman. Um, I mean, she was, she was, she had her own share of aggressiveness, but she's way far across the table. She's not a threat. Like, why are you getting up, talking to her, calling her names, talk about her children? Like, come on, we got the, we, that's a little bit weird, right? So academics and Gibbs been going back and forth for a long time. <laughs> we thought that Gibbs thought that he had wait, gotten. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That meatball looking nigga is, is academics. Yeah, that's yes. yeah. And watch it. And watch it. Watch it. Because if you talk greasy about this nigga, he will talk greasy about you. And you'll say, I'm gonna smack you. He'll be like, French, you're not gonna smack shit. That's what that nigga will say. And that's why he I, tough? I oh, wait, wait, time out. Let me ask because I don't know. Is he tough? No. Pay to no. see Freddie Gibbs. No, Freddie Gibbs is gonna knock him the fuck out. Because listen, they confirmed this on ESPN, correct? Yeah. yeah, he was on Jalen and Jacoby. That was my next point. He gets he so Gibbs shows up on Jalen and, and Jacoby on ESPN. First of all, Gibbs getting crazy looks. He's in movies now, right? He's on ESPN, so he's on there, and they like yo. They they said Gibbs said he want. They they said Axe said he want to fight you. Gibbs said let's do it. He said I'm training. He said I'm training for this fight. I'm, tra- I'm training for a fight right now, man. <laughs> Oh, you traded for a fight. Breaking news on Jalen and Jacoby. Oh, got breaking news. Breaking news. Who breaking is news. Freddie Gibbs training to fight? DJ Academics. He is. He is. <laughs> I'm a solid. I'm a solid 185. DJ Academics a soft 204. So I think we can make that. You know, we can make that that fight happen. 
So this might be actually a real pay-per-view type deal. Yo, he said, he said, I'm a solid 204. Academics is a soft 180 something. 180. No, no, he said, right? Gibbs said, Gibbs said, I'm a solid 180. And then oh, Act, yeah, and is academics a soft, is soft Act is a soft 204. Yo, listen. So for me, I don't even want to let the cat out the bag, but I'm going to say it here first. So I'm working on a mixtape series where it's kind of like a versus situation. So I wanted to do the artwork like celebrity death match. This yes. is instantly what this reminded me of is celebrity fucking death match. Listen, and 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 we'll bring it back to Hus Kingpin because I'm going to I'm going to give him love on this because I want to say 2 years ago he said on Twitter, "Why don't we stop with all this bullshit rapper beef and have something like back in the day with a celebrity death match and y'all motherfuckers really fighting a ring and we have people pay for it." So, I'm going to shout out Hus Kingpin because he put this idea out there a long time ago. I want to watch Freddie Gibbs knock academics the fuck out because he's had it coming. And that is what the game is missing is people yeah. really getting slapped nowadays because there's too many Twitter fingers. Amen. All right. Yes. I'm just going to throw this out there. Get him, baby. I'm just going to throw this out there because I got to keep the pot interested. What happens? Because all Yo, of hip hop. Let's dick, Deuce. What? What happens if all of hip hop is watching and Ak actually has the hands, and he puts Gibbs down. Does that change the landscape? It's I over. Gotta, I, I need to see it to believe it, bro. If Ak, I'm, if, I'm just throwing out listen, scenarios. Like, I, like, first of all, I didn't know who he was until about like, 30, 30 like, seconds ago, and just off face value, he probably oh. had like two fights his whole life. Ak got two good punches in. He would have to get up off the canvas and whoop Axe ass to save his. If he touched the canvas, his career probably is over. He, Not he even if he touched to the Gibbs canvas. Off God somehow, and I don't see Gibbs letting his God down. I don't know if this is something that they would build up and drag out, but I don't see Freddie Gibbs as a person even doing that shit. I really see Gibbs. So let me save everyone out. the suspense. If the fight happens, what's going to happen is it's going to be all kind of shit in place to ensure that act don't get fucked up. And you're going to see it. You're going to you're going to be waiting in the middle of round one. Gibbs going to land a couple of nice shots and you're going to be, oh, oh, oh. And you're going to get to round fucking three or round five. And he still ain't going to put him on his back. And you're going to be able to know Gibbs not doing everything he can with this guy right now. If that if that happens, I feel like Gibbs is gonna end up being like I had to agree not to kill him or something because I don't see Gibbs making himself look soft in that situation because I feel like that's what he's gonna have to do. Got to go in there and whoop ass. I mean, but look what happened. I think I think everybody is scared about what could happen in these situations when we look back on who got his ass whooped by the white boy. Who? Cool. Onyx. Was it, it Fredro? Sticky. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Sticky's got to get out of that. Sticky. Sorry, Fredro. Sticky. <laughs> they, there had, against, they had the MTV big gloves too. <laughs> that white that listen, I don't even like to revisit the shit. But the white, that white boy put hands on fucking sticky, man. Beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> you know listen, listen. If Act put hand listen, if Act get two good hits on Gibbs, if Act don't look if he looks good in a fight. That's what I'm saying. Like, this isn't, this isn't, this only works in academics' favor. And this is what this Hollywood shit do. If Act don't look bad in the fight, like if they have a good scrap and Gibbs win, but Act get in a couple of punches and he could go on the internet the next day, like, yeah, we knew Gibbs was going to whoop my ass. But like, you see his eye, you know what I mean? Like, if he black his eye or some shit, he not going to lose. And I understand. I understand the celebrity boxing part of it and making Gibbs money off of it. But what happened to me walking up to you? What happened to me walking up to you and just putting bare knuckles on you? What happened to that part? Like why? Like why does that have? I get the I feel money. Like academics would snitch. I feel like he would go to the cops or some shit. Oh, he's admit he's an admitted snitch, right? He That's said he called saying. the cops. He so, called the cops on Gibbs. And there's people out there that I would love to put hands on, but I know that they would call cops. And and for me being a fucking adult. I can't go to jail at my age for knocking out a stupid, uh, you know, internet thug. I'm not going to call the cops, but I am waiting for a motherfucker with a lot more money than me to touch me because I got a good lawyer. Yo, I'm this nigga look like, listen, I just look like. Don't you look like a Care Bear? The nigga look like a, a, a fucking. He certainly a, do, dude. He look like a fucking. He look like, like a black crust. He like a black crusty Care Bear. He do. He do. Let me tell you something about Act. He's a dare bear. He got money. 
I was about to say, this is- but That's why I'm is, saying he could pay for training and depending on how much time they have and stuff like that, that's what's going to have to be done. So- No, I feel like- Listen, no, no amount of training in the world- martial arts no lessons amount, listen, listen, No amount of training in the world will give you heart. Maybe not. But if you got enough money to hire a guy like James Lights Out Tony, and I'm not saying he, he that he going to- I would. I would see if I can get in touch with James Lights Out Tony. Nigga probably still down on his luck a little bit. He can use the bread and he can box. His ass off. He trained he trained champions. So, I mean, if you get the right training. Now, Gibbs said he training. Gibbs in movies. So, Gibbs going to have a good trainer, too. Here's the crazy part. Here's the crazy part. When I heard Gibbs say, I'm training, I'm like, damn, nigga, you vice lord. A-V-L-N. Now, I mean, 5-5, five, five, all that. And you training for the guy act. No problem. But now that you training, you better come in that fucking fight sharp. I expect you, Gibbs, to put... Hands on this nigga immediately. It would Deuce talk about? I don't expect it to be no goddamn contest. Fuck all that. It's Gibbs versus Act. I expect you to walk in that ring and smoke this nigga. I'm with you, Mike. That see, and I'm new, I usually give a, a neutral side of things, but in this situation, Mike, I'm with you. I'm with no, you. I'm going that's to what I'm saying. That's why it. it's not fair for Gibbs. Because if Gibbs don't do nothing but demolish this man. It's not a W. But, but they give yeah, I'm saying if they agree to make it interesting, you know what I'm saying? But I just I feel like give this here's the reason why it is it I'm is fair for Gibbs. Because Gibbs talked himself into this. He's been saying for over a year, I'm gonna whoop your ass, you a bitch, I'm gonna smack you, all this shit. Now you're gonna be in the ring with the nigga. Yeah. This like, is his way to do it legally, see, so he can't go to court and, and it's giving him a fair chance. Go get your training. You know what I'm saying? How much time are they going to give him? You know what I'm saying? Are they going to let him get into a weight class or some shit? Like, I mean, well, how are they going to do it? And all y'all niggas some suckers because y'all niggas don't want to y'all y'all niggas don't want to do MMA. Y'all don't want to get on the fuck the gloves. Take the gloves off. You know what I mean? And just get on the ground. Let's just all, all no rules, nigga. I grab you. I That's choke you. Elbow you, don't nigga. Be don't be shocked if Act done spent money and learned some slick shit like how to touch a nigga in the neck. And make him no, not be able to throw punches in. Foul. He, he a little Ninja Turtle ass nigga. He ain't gonna play fair. He gonna spit sand and give <laughs> eyes or some yeah. shit. Let me tell you something. I'm a big Gibbs That's how fan. I feel like it's gonna go down. So I, wouldn't even, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with Gibbs because I love his music so much. But act, I hate... I, well, I don't like <laughs> I don't like what he does. Yeah, I, I, we love... We I don't love like what act does. So let me just say this. Listen, it'll never... I'm gonna tell you in a minute, French. It'll never happen. But I will... I, I fight act right now for fucking fifteen thousand. I and and me, I'm say I'm gonna say it on camera. So I guarantee you, I will whoop his ass, and you won't have to wait. When the when they when they ring the motherfucker bell, I'm going right to it. And I got asthma, and I'm out of shape, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the stamina to the test. I might get tired after forty five seconds. Fuck it, I'm gonna give you everything I got for them forty five seconds. And it, either his ass gonna be on the ground, or I'm gonna have a heart attack and they taking me out on the fucking stretcher. That's for act. I'll beat your ass. Look. Next, now. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I will beat. I will smack go. Sonic coins out that nigga. Flat the fuck out. Flat the fuck out. And I ain't even trying to get famous from this shit. I just don't like this nigga. And the reason why people don't like him, French, it's a thousand reasons. First of all, he rode Six Nines Jock, right, all the way like. He he condoned the whole situation. He out there trolling with with six nine. You know what I mean, they he might as well be the feds right with six nine. He might as well be the feds. You know what I mean, and then you talking greasy about like a dude like Gibbs, like <clears throat> well, like he'll smack the fuck out of you. You you doing that bitch shit? Everybody can clearly see you a bitch, but you talking tough talk. That's what niggas don't like about him. Let's do a year end wrap up. Um, I'm assuming that this show is being broadcast at some point. Uh, close to Christmas or just after Christmas before the first of the year, right? Um, mm -hmm. So it's been a crazy year, and I just want we got favorite memories of 2021. We're gonna do music, and then we're gonna do personal. And I just want to go around the room, and um, let, let's go, ladies first from music, not your personal shit, but from what you witnessed in in this game over the past uh, 12 months. What is your favorite memories, Beans? Oh, I thought you were talking French. You said ladies first. Did um, I say? Ooh. I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm just kidding, French. I love you. I had to. We were getting along over there today. talking I'm big sorry. shit. I'm sorry. Um, <sighs> so my, my my favorite thing in music was trivia against French. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, so, damn. 
Yeah. Yeah. D a y u l. No. Word, word beans. No, I love you. You miss me. You miss me. I get it. I get it. I love you. Yeah, yeah. It's that. It's that. It's that elementary school shit. She she only do that to you because she like you, friend. I know. <laughs> Okay, Beans, what you got? Cooties. So my, my my hands down favorite thing that happened in music this year was um, the Lux Dipset ba- uh, versus. Ooh. That was by far my favorite thing that happened in hip hop. Still, still going back and watching it. Um, not only was it the most entertaining for me, but I feel like it was the most educational for uh, the 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 new wave of hip hop. Dude's Ella's favorite moments, 2021, from this music shit. Um, I agree with Baines. The locks was dope. I'm going to say the ascension of Rome Streets. I feel like uh, you're watching someone grow into their skin and be another, like, powerful contributor to the culture. And I've known Rome for a long, long time, so it's special to see. Shout out to China, too. Hell yeah. That's my bet. So, French, you got memories? Oh, yeah. Um, musically, I would have to say the uh, the progress of Reef Hustle. Frenchie, 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 Frenchie. Reef Splash, watch how I move the boat. These dudes trash, I use my views to boast. See, my head is not for glory, they just choose to tote. You watch a real nigga steal his views and post. And uh, personally, my highlight for 2021 was coming out to Cali twice. Be at the Lord Mob show. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the way, then the way things went down, I had met DJ Beans, who got me a job to come back. Mm. Yeah. And engineer her show. Because she didn't like the engineer from the first show. He was buggy. I, th- I think he was on crack, actually. Wow. I think it was meth, but yes. So he was on something. Race horse Charlie. I say meth. You, I definitely say meth. I, I really? tried to help the dude. You know he was on that high and mighty. When I tried to help him, I was like, listen, bro, 90% of what you playing tonight, it was recorded at my studio. So let me help you out. I know how it's supposed to sound. So I helped him out, helped him EQ some shit. The moment I step away, he's back touching buttons like he's a fucking like dope fiend. Tender Damn. riddles. That's that's a new strain of H. Tender riddles what they call it. Um <laughs> My um, music, I got notes. Y'all niggas don't do notes. Are we ever going to actually do Zoom with this fucking group? Because y'all niggas be busy as fuck. Excuse me. No, you do notes. Excuse me. Respect Apologize. You know, fucking, um, uh, these, these other niggas, they too cool for school. But it's cool. They, they still great at what they do without the notes. My music memories. Um, ironic. Deuce. Uh, um, watching Rome kill shit is on my list. See? Like, come on, man. Rome Streets, y'all better watch it. Um, Benny and the Emergence of BSF, I think, was a highlight for me this year. Um, watching Mussolini get better was a highlight for me. Like, I see a marked improvement. A mock homie reuniting with West Side Gun is a good, is a memory for me from 2021. Um, and Griselda being able to get Rome, Boldy, and Stove God. Like, to lock that down. Those Wait, are the... Stove God was officially, is officially Griselda? I thought he was. Yep. Yeah. I did. I, yeah. Excuse my ignorance, because I did not know that. I know he was on the tour with Conway, but I did not know he was actually Griselda, because I thought he was conglomerate. No, nah, no. Nah, he was announced uh, same day as Rome. Wow. Yeah. Big deal. They got a, they got a, they got a squad over there. So we talked about people's. Per- well, I know friends talked about his personal, which um, beans your personal favorite. So my my personals were actually um, both shows that French had mentioned. Uh, the the Lord Mob show first of all, um, although it was the most issues I've ever had on some sound shit. It was the first time somebody has ever taken the mic out of my oh, hand. I forgot about that. Yo, and when I saw the fucking footage and I see it from the crowd, it, it was so crazy and it was so much different. I can't believe I didn't knock that dude out, but it's because we had the show with Riggs at the same place coming up, uh, you know, the following month. But it connected me with people like Tiana uh, and TF and, and French, of course. 
So, um, and I got to, you know, DJ for rock and shit like that. So to me, and that was the first big show that I had coming out of the Panini. So, you know, that for me, that was huge because it was my first time, whether there were issues or not, it was still a dope ass show. Um, definitely a highlight for me. And then the top for me was the, uh, was the, the joint with the cloth and new crack era and a Sun Eastwood and Lennox, um, to, to have been just as a fan and a DJ, that was an incredible show. Uh, it, I already loved Asan Eastwood, um, but let me tell you, when, when I came across that man's energy in real life and his, his show, his live performance, things like that, like they stick, they stick with me forever. People like Mav and Mooch and Rob Gates and Riggs. So working with them and that whole experience with everybody in the cloth, Lennox Hughes putting our show together, to me, I've I've done, I've been doing this shit for a long time and and to to date this is one of the favorite shows I've ever done just because the chemistry um and just the performance in itself for that whole show to me it was very well put together thank you Frenchie for coming and saving us so we didn't have that piece of shit engineer um because that was the first thing when I got off stage I was like somebody call the homie and tell him Aaron, I'll never forget his fucking name, A. Aaron. You are not welcome to ever engineer anything that we do at that place. But yeah, those were definitely my, the, hands down, my highlights. The queen has spoken. Oh, no. Fuck you mean? Percy. A. Aaron. A. Aaron. You done messed up, A. Aaron. Deuce. It's been a Personally. while fucking here. The show was a highlight. Oh, um, I was on a fucking billboard in Times Square. Word. That shit was nuts. Um, I opened the, the Illis Gallery in Brooklyn. Word. Some of the best events the city's seen. Um, I got to tour with Jamal Gasol. I was pretty lit. Um, I'm on this podcast with y'all motherfuckers, and y'all are cool and crazy as shit. Yeah, that so, was a highlight for me, too. I forgot to yeah. say that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This Don't try to cool, clean this shit up now, Beans. Fuck that. No, I have it written down. I have the proof. I'll send you a screenshot. It's yeah, literally on here. Wait, wait, Beans, you're in LA? Yep. I, for some reason, I just thought you were still in Boston because of your voice. Man. I'm going to come fuck with you in LA now that I know I got family out there and shit. Like, I'll let yeah. Beans, come on, I'll let at Beans, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm about to be doing selfies together and shit. It's lit. My personal and let do so. You done with your personal? Because I got personals. Oh, got my girl back too. Oh, got her back. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. I like those stories. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That was the number one highlight. All that other shit was cool, and then I got my girl back. Word like, up. I salute to that. Salute to salute to love. Um, my oh, my memories. So, and I extensive notes. All the people I met. And I've got to say, a lot of, it's some names I'm going to say. I'm going to miss some, right? So, uh, DJ D Official, shout. Um, Art, right? Um, i got to say, Nicole Porter, D Stallone, AC, Hoodfella, Alu Beach, St. Chris, uh, Rasheed Chappelle, Seltzer Water Hayes, which I met in my man uh, French's studio, uh, Rockwells, Zaza, Mussolini, Flea, Special, Shea, Deuce, French, Beans, Mad Face, Marsburg out of Buffalo, L Biz, YN, YNX716. Shout. That's my homie right there. Um I'm doing something with YNX. Boy, he, he on the come up, ain't he? He on the come up. Uh yeah, like that out of Buffalo. Uh Wavy the God, Eddie Kane. Of course, K Burns. I met Chris Hansen this year. Um and a new the friend, Sean, that I met. Um, I got so I got shouted out on a couple of songs. I don't know them all. Um, Cashmere Brown shouted me out on Dinner Plate. And then Heezy Hines and Mike Wise shouted me out on Payback. Um, I did the intro for Barbershop Talk podcast. Um, and I was on their 200th episode. I know Beans was just on that show. Yeah. Um, and getting more connected with my supporters, Martin Vasquez, 777 Eternal Son, Allah. You know what I mean? Um, and so many other people like Ross the Grandpa, Angry Korean, Low Life Legend, a whole bunch of people. So getting more connected with the people that support what I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Let me cut you off. Yeah. But there's one motherfucker you know you got to say. Did I leave somebody off? Yep. Wait a minute. 
I ain't gonna even can tell you. We gonna think of it. Emma? Is it a producer that I want to say? No. Oh. It's not a producer. No. Is a rapper. No. I right, I give you a hint. That, that, what, that's cotton candy. Trees in the box. Oh, Nate from upstate. Nate, Nate, Nate from upstate. Got to give props to Nate from upstate, yes. of course. I'm yes. sorry because I. Uh, Hunter Huell, you know what I mean? Coolest white boy in the game. Them type of people. Yes, of course, Nate from Upstate and other people that I'm forgetting. I apologize no, because... I, I seriously want to send you a screenshot of my notes because I because I, I literally have it written down and I forgot to say it. What, Nate from Upstate? Uh, no, that this... Um, that no, this no, no, I ain't tripping on that. And this show, of course, but, you know, having y'all being able to come through the, 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 the firepower, the star power that had been added to this channel by your guys' presence means everything to me. So, of course, and the, the fact that I can leave out of 2021, going into 2022, knowing we're going to put our foot on their fucking neck. Very good feeling. Very good feeling. So those are my... Yeah, get used to this, because this ain't going nowhere, y'all. You heard? <laughs> I like that. And then, so I was talking to French earlier, and then French called me right before the show. He's like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to do the thing, trying to get my camera together, everything. And um, he said, French said, this, this is about to be lit. We ready to go. I said, I, I hope so. I said, because I'm nervous. I'm nervous before every show. And French said, don't be nervous. We, we lit. We got this. And French is always the one to kind of just like... When I'm having a little bit of doubt, he like, if he was right in front of me, he probably, psh, he would do that. That's probably what French <laughs> I mean, Come on, knock it off, man. We he do it. He do it verbally. That's what he does verbally. Psh, snap That's out of it. CG in the building. Who that? CG in the building. Shout oh, CG was popping. Who do, hey, before we, before we do worst up. memories real quick, let's, look, can I do 30 seconds with CG real quick before we do the worst memories? 30 uh, seconds with CG. Uh, who, who, who has he worked? I was on his IG. I thought he worked with a ton of people that I know, like people I recognize. Could you yeah. drop some of those names? Uh, let's see. I, um, Robert Jones from West Side Gun. Um, I did the, the soundtrack from uh, Mission Accomplishment with the West Side Gun, Monty Caesar, Benny the Butcher. And I did the uh, Mount Call Me uh, Marie on a Pray for Haiti. And also, wow. I'm on uh, El Biz, uh, uh, my, my backpack. Oh, shout out to L Biz. Yeah. These, you know, yeah. I was I was in these people's homes. I was yeah. in L Biz's house. You know what I mean? I was in the studio. I was in Mad Face's house. I was in YNX 716's house, right? So um shout to those guys. And Leia, yeah, because you did a yeah. post, Deuce, and that's you was working I with CG. I, wait, I can't be on camera and you mention L Biz and me not give shouts out. That's like my older brother. Like Word. put me in the padlock, give me a nugget and shit. We go way, way back. Shout out to L Biz, man. I just yeah. want to make that motherfucker proud anytime I put work out or I put my foot forward. He's so good like, people. He's good people. But you don't understand, like Mike, like it's special coming up, like how we come up. And that's like my nigga, for me to hear like people on big platforms just shouting out, meeting L Biz, like that's a big deal for them. Like that hit, you know what I mean? When somebody's like, yo, I met this nigga and they lit. And I'm like, yo, that's my homie. That hit different. So shout out Biz. I hit the city and I've got I got on a jack with these cats. Oh, who is my, this? My dog's making an appearance because he's out crying because one of his bitches is outside. He wants and to go. Is shy. He he's saying, soft as fuck. He's simp. Your dog is simp. Do we hear my bitch down here too? Cause she right here at my feet. What? <laughs> What's his name though? This this right here is a little scrappy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the pet episode. French, what you got on the pet side? <laughs> Nothing. They, they gotta make a cameo. Why are you yeah. shaking? He, he's like the pop. He hates paparazzi. When I take the camera out, he. Uh, <laughs> I love that That's dog. Yeah, uh, French. Worst, worst thing about twenty twenty one. Having my Instagram account deleted. Man, so my worst all really turned out to be my best because this is one of the hottest years I've had to deal with. But I got into a car accident. I got my dream job. It turned into a nightmare. My entire family slash circle completely turned over. So my life douched itself. So all of my worst moments <laughs> have actually turned into my best because I got a good douching. Now all the, all the bad bacteria is so gone. So now, now, now your life don't smell like dumpster juice. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a fish market up in here. You know what I'm saying? It's nice and fresh. It's like an ocean breeze. You know Deuce, what, was, what was the worst thing, Deuce? 2021. I'm still sad. 
She says she dished her life. She dished. That was, that's a new one. That's that's a first. It douched itself, actually, but yeah. I mean, I've been called douche Ellis before, so. Douche Ellis. <laughs> I would never. Aww, I would wow. never. Aww. <laughs> would never. Oh. Douche Ellis. Ellis. Not the summer What the fuck is going on? Oh. Um, I still can't go outside the way I want to go outside. I don't know. I lost some homies. Hmm. Bless their hearts. You know what I mean? I guess as we close the show, my my worst um, thing from 2021 was just like what Deuce was alluding to, like everybody we lost in 2021, right? So, right? I got a list. Uh, DMX, right? Prince Marky D. Lost X this year. What the fuck? Why are you reminding me of that shit, Mike? It's more. It's more. Prince, Prince Marky though. D. Um, Ecstasy. The drug? Uh, uh Biz Marky. Mm. Black Rob. Mm -hmm. Shock G. Um, Greg Tate, the goat of hip hop journalism. Virgil Abloh, right? Um Melvin Van Peoples passed away in 2021. Um AJ Johnson, Ezel from Friday. Michael K. Williams, Omar. Omar. Paul Mooney. Marvelous Yo, Marvin Hagler. Took a lot of niggas. Marvelous you Marvin Hagler. Couple people, uh, people uh, up in the stands. Uh, Mary Wilson. Supremes. Leon Spinks. Wow. Cicely Jesus. Tyson. Cicely Tyson. Hank Aaron. The home run hitting ass nigga? <laughs> that was the, that was, that was, that to me, all of those was like the worst stuff. I mean, especially in the hip hop game, we talk about X, Black Rob, Shock G, Biz, Prince Marky D, right? These are either people that had a very uh, impact on us when we was like young adults or they had impact on us when we was coming up, such as the case with Ecstasy and Biz Marky. Um, and Prince Black Marky Rob D. was my bro, like, the last album he did before he passed away, he did with me. You know? So I was with him every day at one point. 2021 was vicious and taking our niggas, man. Woof. Young Dolph. Dolph. Young Dolph. Young Dolph. Yes. And so um, we, we hope 2022 is going to be a little bit better than 2021 in terms of us not losing so many of the people that we we care for, respect, look up to, and admire in this game. Uh, I yeah, think I mean, that we should we should just dedicate this show to the, the people that Deuce mentioned that he lost, and also can I one more? I'm sorry yes. to interrupt, yeah. but um, I also want to say you know R.I.P. to that blessed girl. She was um, an up and coming. No, Shanika. Oh shit. I'm yep. sorry. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually dedicating my album, Queen of the Underground. I was supposed to have an all-female track, and uh, it was supposed to be produced by her. And she kept apologizing to me because she was too sick to get the beat done. And I kept saying to her, I'm not doing this track without you. So I would just like to take a moment to say I'm not doing that track. Rappy, you are being a little bitch right now. Back up, son. <laughs> Damn. So we will de we'll dedicate this show to Shanika and Sorry. the others that was lost. And especially, you know, because I know Black Rob and a lot the big friends. Let's dedicate this to Black Rob, this show. And then knowing that in 2022, the show is going to only get bigger, better, and stronger. A lot of surprises are going to be coming. You're going to see us on location. You're going to see a lot more guests. And this squad right here is as tight as a Nat's pussy, right? And we're going to stay together. So I would thank you all for connecting with me now. Go connect with each other. I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.